shit you could be doing opposed to being on my page. Cause I ain't got nothing for you, nothing ass. <laughs> What's good babes and welcome back to another black t-shirt. It's your girl Ebony. I'm feeling a little bit better so you guys know I am back with another video. The first topic is none other than DaBaby meeting with nine HIV organizations to not only apologize but to also get some education after his very insensitive and homophobic comments during his Rolling Loud set. Now you guys know people have been canceling DaBaby left and right and after he deleted his detailed apology from IG and his Twitter, people wondered if he was really sorry. Well, just earlier today, those organizations a press release to talk about what the baby did, what he learned, and what we should do moving forward. Now, this is what they had to say. The open letter to the baby was our way to extend to him the same grace each of us would hope for. Our goal was to call him in instead of calling him out. We believed that if he connected with black leaders living with HIV, that a space for community building and healing could be created. We are encouraged that the baby swiftly answered our call and joined us in a meaningful dialogue in a thoughtful educational meeting. During our meeting, the baby was genuinely engaged. He apologized for the inaccurate and hurtful comments he made about people living with this disease and received our personal stories and the truth about this disease and its impact on Black, LGBTQ, and other communities with deep respect. It continues with this. We appreciate that the baby openly and eagerly participated in this forum of black people living with this disease, which provided him an opportunity to learn and to receive accurate information. So this is definitely a good step in the right direction. I do believe, like they said, sometimes we got to call people in instead of calling them out. And a lot of people were dragging the baby. They were saying, oh, he didn't reach back out to them. He wasn't reaching reaching back out to apologize. All in all, DaBaby did respond and he got the education that he needed. So kudos to DaBaby and I hope moving forward, he watches what he says on stage. Now the next topic I do wanna discuss is none other than Nicki Minaj having a new announcement tomorrow with Elton John. You guys, Elton John is probably one of the biggest legends ever to do it in music. Not only is he at the top of the charts when it comes to Grammys and accolades, but anyone who gets a feature on his album is said to also be on their way to legend status. Now, Elton John did take to his Instagram to post a series of stories, one of those stories having Lil Nas X, and he also had Nicki Minaj. After he did that, he did take to TikTok to announce that he would be releasing the lockdown sessions, and he actually had a very cute video of cupcakes, and you guys guessed it, Nicki Minaj was one of those cupcakes. I thought it was a very very cute announcement to be quite honest but what else can we expect from the cute Elton John so as you guys see Nicki Minaj has new music on the way we do know that it was postponed for her collaboration with Jessie but that is coming too I did hear that Nicki Minaj will be shooting her part of the music video and somebody else may be making a cameo so there's a lot going on with that record as well and to be quite honest I'm excited to hear what Nicki Minaj is gonna do on the lockdown session I mean, when you look at the feature list, it's nothing but pop icons. And to be quite honest, Nikki is just that. So let me know what you guys think about this topic down below. How do you feel about DaBaby meeting with these organizations to get some education after his homophobic comments? And do you believe that now that he's done that, that people will lighten up a little bit on him being canceled? And finally, what are your thoughts about Nicki Minaj being featured on Elton John The Lockdown Sessions? What do you think we could expect could it be a pop nikki hip-hop nikki let me know down below i look forward to reading your comments i hope you're still streaming super bass you guys know until next time you want to stay messy i love you to the moon and back and we'll talk soon bye babes and don't forget to subscribe y'all already know bye